everybody and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. I'm your host, Emily, aka Lollipop81 MLE here today. And we're coming back into the father-in-law of Europe and his descendants. So this young lady, who I would say would be the Swedish Tatiana, this is Astrid of Sweden, the youngest daughter of Prince Karl Duke of uh, that's the goblin. Any of my Swedish viewers can correct me on the pronunciation. And his wife, Princess Ingeborg of Denmark. She was the daughter of Frederick VIII. She was the youngest sister. She had two older sisters, Margrethe and Matta, and a younger brother named Carl. She basically, she was educated in her, she spent most of her childhood in Stockholm she had a strict education, she attended boarding school, and a lot of the lessons were taught in French. And she studied sewing, piano, ballet, and childcare. Now, before I continue, here are the reference pics I used to do the drawing of the pose, the gown, and the color palette. Because, again, I'm referencing black and white photos, and while I was coloring her, I wasn't sure, like, if her hair was, like, a dark brown or just just a normal brunette so anyways and in the beginning I did say she was basically the Swedish version of Tatiana and if you look at the both of them side by side even though they're like 10 12 years apart you'll look at the pics look at a photograph of Tatiana from around um, 1914 and Astrid in 1922. They, they, they could be twins. So anyways, she married Leopold of Belgium, Duke of Batterbond, and that was in 1926, civilly in Stockholm and religiously in Brussels. And this was a love match. And when Astrid arrived in Belgium, um, Leopold was waiting for her, and quoting from her daughter Josephine Charlotte, the late Grand Duchess of Luxembourg, she states that this was the first time, possibly the first time, some a couple embracing each other in public in 1926. And during their royal engagements, while they do their official engagements, they always wore you know, held hands. And they were very much in love. And again, it, it wasn't just Josephine Charlotte that they had. They had Boudouin, who also became king of the Belgians. And then Albert II, who also became king of the Belgians. His son Philippe is the current king of the Belgians. As queen, she... Um, Organized clothing drives, um, co um, basically organized collections for clothes, money, and food for the poor during the economic crisis in 1935 after, again, Albert I died in a mountain climbing accident. And she did this through an open letter known as the Queen's Appeal, and she also visited many poor settlements. She was also interested in training women formally in childcare and healthcare and supported young girls as dressmakers for career opportunities. And she also supported charitable institutions and liberal organizations and gave audience to advocates for women's rights, such as Baroness uh, Marta Boyer, who was the president of the National Council of Belgian Women. And she also patronized Milk Week as an effort to encourage Belgians to drink healthy beverages. And she, unfortunately, that's a lot of positivity. So she was very much beloved. But unfortunately, she would die in a car accident in Switzerland. The king and queen were incognito. They went on a hike. So while they were driving and Leopold took his eyesight away from the road and you don't ever take your, just so he can look at a map, they slammed into a pear tree and she was thrown out of the car and she died from her injuries. Leopold was here to cry hit her name as he held her body close. And she was buried alongside her husband and his second wife. 
and hell, his, um, she, so yeah, she was very beloved, and very much that, and I like her for that, she was, so anyways, the final piece is up on my DeviantArt page at lollipop081mle, link in the description below, along with my other social media links, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit, all same handle. Please subscribe to my channel as I post videos like this every Fridays and Saturdays, along with Lollipop Sings and Lollipop Discusses. And if you want to comment your thoughts about Astro Dispenin, go right ahead, and I'll also link the episode where Josephine Charlotte talked about um astrid in detail so i'll see you next time peace y'all